Well, so straight on to the final of the men's Cox pairs with just 10 entries. The title going last year to the United States of America. Well, in lane one, Argentina, whose representatives a year ago finished ninth in the world ranking. So certain to improve, but are they good enough to grab a medal? Certainly their women are showing the way. Then next to them for Greece, the same trio who achieved bronze medals last year. That was a famous day. It was the day, the morning after, it was announced that Athens would host the 2004 Olympic Games. Then Italy, who took fourth spot a year ago. And then in lane four, the other half of the awesome foursome, who have been joined in the bow by their cox, uh, Brett Heyman, this is Nicholas Green and James Tompkins. And to their left, uh, the Germans. Germany, who uh, didn't enter this competition last year. And then the United States will be to their left in lane six. They, the champions last year, and it's only the coxswain lying down in the bow, Nicholas Anderson, who is in this year's boat. So a pretty open-looking affair, and the medals, I would say, Dan, all up for grabs here. Well, I think the Australians have the, uh, the, the edge on technique and experience. They really are an extremely classy uh, couple of uh, athletes here. Uh, gold medalist from uh, the Olympics, gold medalists in the Coxless Four. Uh, here they are split into two pairs. And this pair here, uh, I would have thought, although they started quite slowly, I'd have thought they're the guys to watch. At the moment, the Italians have gone out at first. A good aggressive initial burst. And uh, these two men, though, are going to settle into their rhythm, settle into their stride, and I reckon they'll be the guys to watch. So the green and gold in Australia, three from the bottom of your picture, but it is the Italians as we now get a look at the uh, Germans. The man who's uh, in the bow there, Sven Ueck, and the man setting the rhythm in front of him, Mark Kleinschmidt. Their coxswain, Felix Erdmann. The German pair moving very nicely there, but you, already you can see how quickly the Australians have moved through the field and they're now in front. So from a rather steady start, where they were about fifth, They've moved straight through in about 300 meters with that lovely, loose, long style. They've moved to take the lead as they come up to the 500 meters from the fast-starting Italian pair. The other crew that uh, particularly interests me are the Americans because uh, they've only been together as a unit for just three weeks. And three days ago, they changed round the positions in the boat. So that... Uh, I hope the Cox is still in the Cox and seat. The Cox is still there. <laughs> But they are, they're doing very well, actually. They're sitting there in third place, and they're moving very well indeed. Strong man event, this, uh, the, the Cox pair. It's a tough event. You need big, hard, strong men. And the United States won this last year, uh, coming with a really great run from, uh, from the 1,000-meter mark. And this year, these two men here, well in the, in the hunt for the medals. Yes, but it's the Australians already uh, beginning to show their class now, and they've taken a decisive lead at this early point in the race. Brett Heyman uh, lying down there. He's uh, pretty busy. He'll be at work as well in the Cox Four, and he's got ambitions to prove himself worthy of coxing the Olympic Eight in Sydney. So he's got uh, a long-range target as well. Well, he couldn't do better than get in with these guys because here you can see the class. You can just see these two men have been rowing together now for five or six years. They really know each other inside out. And there they are, long, rangy, tall men, three quarters of a length up on, uh, on Italy and just moving away. There's nothing going to stop these two, these two Australians from winning this medal. Back to the uh, Americans now. It's uh, Kurt Borsheding. On the right of your picture there, he uh, works for Bloomberg Financial. Interestingly enough, he's also on the reserve as a forest firefighter. Well, firefighting or not, it's raining, so they, doesn't, they don't really need him. At the moment, he and his partner are moving very, very well, very powerfully, uh, only together for three weeks. Well, this is good rowing from the American pair. His partner, uh, Philip Henry, though, very useful oarsman, came out of the... World Championship 8 from last year, the winning 8. So there is some pedigree there. 
of the Australians. The man not on the right of your picture there in the bow there, that's Nicholas Green. He was the man who was really sick. And uh, I suppose you could say it was as a result of his sickness that the awesome foursome weren't as great when it came to the trials. Well, they're pretty great now because they're leading this field by a length and a half with Italy in a good, strong second position. And the United States now having to hold off an attack from Argentina on the far side, the top of the picture there, and Greece, who were uh, medalists last year. Yes, the Greeks are a little disappointing. They were much more positive a year ago, but uh, whatever it is, they don't seem to be able to go with the pace at all at the moment, and they are trailing. But the Australians now, with just under 750 metres to go, looking better and better and better and it's a pleasure to watch them even in these conditions well the, the, the Australians generally but uh, this, uh, this 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 uh, pair of athletes from the awesome foursome are great technicians they really set up a, a lot of store on rowing extremely well they do they do nothing wrong really they put the blade where they want to put it just drop it in connect with the legs and open up here you've got a contrast in style lots of leg drive Lots of power hanging on, rating far higher than the Australian pair. They look, uh, they look the rate that they're doing. They're tough, hard, but they're not pretty. And you can see that they're hanging on to there by dint of, of, of aggressive rowing, whereas the Australians are just smoothing along in control, looking two or three pips lower than the rating that they're doing, which is 36 and a half. Well, at the moment, the Australians seemingly could win by as much as they want to win by. They really are comfortable, and the race is really on for silver and bronze medals. That's really where the uh, focus now is. Conditions are difficult. The water really is cut up again now, and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's quite difficult for the, uh, for the athletes. But uh, the Australians are not going to be troubled because they, they're well in front. They've got quite a cushion. Uh, Italy has moved out to nearly a length uh, into a sort of secure silver medal position. But look how far out in front the Australians are. They really are enjoying this. And you can see the stroke man there. You can see uh, James Tomkins really enjoying the way that he's rowing there. He's sitting there, just drawing back the finish, just sitting there, knowing he's got gold medal in, the, in his pocket. He hasn't got it. As long as he doesn't do anything wrong, he's going to be there on the top of the podium. I can tell you now, the Germans, there they are, they're breathing on the Americans. Now, the Americans are closest to you in third place, and the Germans are creeping ever closer. The other two on the far side, Argentina and Greece, I think uh, their chances have gone now. Australia striding for the gold medal. Italy looks secure in silver, but the uh, fascination now is whether this uh, United States pair can just hold on. They've not got far to go now, and this is where they're being asked a big question by the Germans, by Sven Uick and Mark uh, Klein. Schmidt with Felix Erdmann calling out the plan and urging on his men. The coxswain, of course, can look in front, he can see what's happening, but uh, they have to rely on him. We come to the line, Australia ease off to take the gold, Italy comfortable in silver, and the Americans just get there to get the bronze medal ahead of Germany with Argentina ahead of a disappointing Greek crew. Well, Australia take the plaudits and well-deserved win, but rather expected I think well out in front easing off as they cross the line Italy pushed very hard and well and aggressively to take the silver medal and a great brave fight there from the United States to hold off Germany and just take the bronze medal so virtually a pillar to post victory to give Australia its first gold of the regatta the United States holding off Germany by just 16 hundredths and those Australians go in the Cox 4 tomorrow here, just a last opportunity to see this really immaculate rowing from the Australian pair. Really good technique, well connected, nothing wasted, no mistakes.